Hello guys, I'm Architect Oliver and welcome back to my channel. Today, I prepared a series of questions for Urban Design, Episode 1, and I hope that uh, makatulong to sa pagre-review nyo. Uh, from this video, we can see the different types of urban design, urban planning, uh, well-known person, and some definition of terms. Uh, before we start, if you are new to my channel, kindly subscribe para maging updated ka sa mga videos na ipopost ko. So let's start. Number one, commonly carries an implication of impossibility or unreality. A. Utopian planning. B. Imperative planning. C. Advocacy planning. And D. Lays fair. Answer. A. Utopian planning. Next, a city designed on the principle that transport routes should be the main determinant of the form of plan for the city and in which the de development is arranged in a long, narrow belt on either side of a central spine road. A. Garden city. B. Linear city. C. TOD. And D. Grid run. Answer? B. Linear city. Next. Urban is spread along main roads, especially those leading to a city. A. Present planning. B. Ribbon development. C. Parkway development and D. Piecemeal development. Answer? B. Ribbon development. Next, the land between a building and the boundary of the plot of land on which it stands. Sometimes the term also includes the land on which the building stands. A. Culturage B. Setback C. Yard and D. Catchment area Answer A. Culturage Next, the following are some of the principle of new urbanism except 1. A. Mixed housing B. Decreased density C. Sustainability and D. Traditional neighborhood structure Answer B. Decreased density Next, this emerging theory of urban design were mid-sized developments built with the intention of self-sustainability. Ordinary Zoning regulation can be suspended for this particular property. A. PUD B. TOD C. Neighborhood Planning and D. Post-Urbanism Answer A. PUD Next, this emerging theory of urban design officially defines as mixed-use community with an average distance of 670 meters from a transit stop and commercial core area. A. PUD B. TOD C. Neighborhood Planning and D. Post-Urbanism Answer B. TOD Next, General Land Use Color Code for Tourist Zone A. Orange B. Violet C. Brown and D. Red Answer A. Orange Next, Designer of Site Industrial designed between 1898 in 1904 
A. Sir Patrick Geras B. Tony Garnier C. Victor Gruen and D. Patrick Abercrombie Answer B. Tony Garnier <clears throat> Next A 75-acre redevelopment in San Jose, California designed by Peter Caltorpe and Associates Originally an industrial town redeveloped with new housing and commercial uses includes a historic district with the city's largest concentration of Victorian homes A. Seaside B. Laguna West C. Jackson Taylor and D. Kentlands Answer C. Jackson Taylor Next New urbanism strategy used when redevelopment is no longer an option while avoiding further physical expansion. Best utilization of existing infrastructure comes from this development strategy. A. Adaptive reuse B. Infill C. Ribbon development and D. Piecemeal development Answer B. Infill Next, development that has taken place in a haphazard or sporadic fashion in small and related areas. Piecemeal development, in a sense, the opposite of comprehensive development, except that in addition to being carried out in small quantities, the usage commonly implies that it is visually as well as physically unrelated to its surrounding. A. Redevelopment B. Infill C. Ribbon Development and D. Piecemeal Development Answer D. Piecemeal Development 14. In modern usage, the term is applied to any area where a minority or deprived group is compelled to live. A. Ghetto B. Blight C. Islam and D. Squatter area Answer A. Ghetto Next, what master plan is illustrated in image 1? A. Seaside B. Laguna West C. Jackson Taylor and D. Kentlands Answer A. Seaside Next, Urban redevelopment strategy used to describe the idea of repairing, redecorating, and in some cases converting existing structural sound property to a standard compatible with modern requirements of amenity and health. A. Urban renewal B. Rehabilitation C. Conservation and D. Adaptive Reuse Answer B. Rehabilitation Next Urban Redevelopment Strategy The conversion of buildings into different uses without significantly altering the structure A. Urban Renewal B. Rehabilitation C. Conservation and D. Adaptive Reuse Answer B. Adaptive Reuse Next, a term often applied 
to the habit of letting things evolve in social and economic life in an apparently natural manner and allowing development to remain in the hands of commercial interest. It is the reverse of planning by the state and represent the minimum of interference by government. A. Echistics B. Geometric Determinism C. Less fair and D. Present planning Answer C. Lies fair Next, Urban Land Use Color Code for Grassland Pasture Zone Again, Urban Land Use Color Code for Grassland Pasture Zone A. Green B. Aqua C. Light Green and D. Olive Green Answer D. Olive Green Next Urban Design Controls It relaxes certain restriction if builders and developers provide desirable public features and amenities such as plazas arcades, and other open spaces. A. Incentive Zoning B. Land Use Planning and Zoning C. Cluster Zoning and D. Advocacy Zoning Answer A. Incentive Zoning Next, Urban Models or urban growth present the emergence of large self-sufficient suburban sector, each focused on a downtown independent of the central city. Again, urban models of urban growth represent the emerge of large self-sufficient suburban sector, each focused on a downtown independent of the central city. A. Zone theory. B. Sector model C. Urban realms and D. Multiple nuclei model Answer C. Urban realms Next, urban models of urban growth recognizes that different activities have varying accessibility requirements. A. Concentric zone theory B. Sector model C. Urban realms and D. Multiple nuclear model Answer D. Multiple nuclei model Next, what is the largest and simplest function of a city? Again, what is the largest and simplest function of a city? A. Economic B. Housing C. Transportation and D. Defense and Protection Answer B. Housing Next, a broad street of major importance usually planted with trees A. Avenue B. Boulevard C. Expressway and D. Freeway Answer B. Boulevard Next, what is the minimum road right-of-way of provincial road? Again, what is the minimum road right-of-way width of provincial road? A. 10 meter B. 15 meter C. 20 meter and D. 25 meter Answer B. 15 meter Next, urban pattern or shape 
radio-centric form with open spaces between the outreaching corridors of development. A. Ring B. Star C. Sheet and D. Constellation Again, urban pattern or shape, radiocentric form with open spaces between the outreaching corridors of development. Answer B. Star Next, key issues in designing responsive environment according to Ian Bentley. In the old days, important building stood out. A. Permeability B. Legibility C. Robustness and D. Visual appropriateness Answer B. Legibility Next, Kevin Lynch image of the city. Linear elements not considered as path. It is visually prominent. A. Path B. Nodes C. Landmarks and D. Edges Answer D. Edges Next, assist private developers in undertaking low and middle income mass housing production by encouraging private financial institution and commercial lenders to finance such development through certain incentives. A. Home Insurance and Guarantee Corp. B. Home Development Mutual Fund. C. National Home Mortgage Financing Group and D. HLURB Answer A. Home Insurance and Guarantee Corporation Next, Sole Regulatory Body for Housing and Land Development Again, Sole Regulatory Body for Housing and Land Development A. Home Insurance and Guarantee Corporation B. NHA C. National Home Mortgage Financing Corporation and D. HLURB Answer D. HLURB Okay guys, thank you very much for watching this video from start till the end. Uh, I hope you learned something. Uh, this is episode 1. Uh, maybe I will prepare another one for episode 2. And I hope this one is useful. And I wish you luck guys uh, board exam. Bye.